Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So excuse the lack of makeup and the messy hair. Um, it's my day off and I'm having a chill day and also it's meant to be autumn. We're almost in the middle of October and I'm sweating. Like it is still so hot in the UK right now. It's really annoying me. Anyway, I have a massive Halloween haul for you guys. You can see some of it piled up here. Um, yeah, so this year I haven't had a lot of time to do the channel, which I do apologise for. However, I do have some content coming up because I've already started decorating outside the front. Um, I'm going to be doing some like book related videos and then there's going to be some like YouTube shorts and stuff showing you guys the decorations. And then there's also going to be other videos um, if I do any other hauls and stuff. But this year I really haven't uh done a lot of halloween shopping so last year i went out and i spent hundreds on halloween whereas this year i've just been going out and like buying little bits and pieces here and there um i haven't really done like a massive halloween shop at all um but yeah so wilco's is now closed down but before they did close down i did manage to get my hands on some bits and pieces so um i'll start off with that so i got this executioner's mask which it is just like thin plastic but i want to put some lights in it and maybe hang it in a window or something or maybe try and make something out, like a ghost out of it outside something like that so uh yeah if i do that obviously there will be content on the diys that i plan on doing um i also got this which is supposed to be an outside light cover uh, whether I'm going to use it for that, I'm really not sure because I was also thinking I could put this over our outside light instead. Um, but yeah, so it's got the little instruction panel on the back. But um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm just going to put this like on the wall as a decoration or if I'm going to um, actually put it over the light. But like I said, you guys will see that anyway. Um, and then I got this little, it's called Pumpkin People. Um, but I just think he's really cute to sit on my bookshelf. Um, I haven't actually decorated my bookshelf Halloween yet. I know, I'm slacking. Um, but yeah, I just like him. I think he's really cute. Um, he's just a little plastic pumpkin with arms and legs. Yeah. And then from Wilco's, I got some tombstones. Because if you guys have seen my videos in the previous years, I always have tombstones outside. However, I normally paint them with like cardboard and acrylic paint. Um, but I decided to buy some actual plastic ones this year. So, um, so yeah, I got those two. And I am thinking I might use some acrylic paint on these as well and paint some maybe some green or some red or something on them just to make them a little bit more spooky. Um, also, guys, I'm just going to disclaim it right now. The, my little video playing in the background is on YouTube and I am i don't pay for YouTube Premium. So if we see an ad on there, just excuse that, okay? Like, I didn't want to have a black TV in the background, but it keeps coming up with ads while I was setting up this video, so... Uh, yeah, and then I got two larger ones as well. So I'm thinking I might try and paint those um, as well, like, maybe put some put some red in the eyes and things and maybe a bit of green to make it look like some moss or something um so yeah i got those and also one of the reasons why i don't normally buy the tombstones is because normally they're made of foam so like they're not very durable in the uk almost every halloween is so windy and you're lucky if it's not raining so i really wanted the plastic ones so that i can keep them outside and they'll be a bit sturdier uh and then i think so this is my box that i've been using this year because like i said i've just been buying little bits and pieces so let's have a look so i've got some stuff from everywhere in today's video guys we've got poundland we've got sainsbury's we've got morrison's so uh yeah and then also in wilco's i got some of their bunting because um sort of nearer to halloween because the bunting is paper right now we've got three ghosts stood in our garden and some bits in the windows but other than that i haven't got anything out yet uh so eventually i will be adding more to it um and then i also got these but i think i'm going to put these up on the ebay shop because i just don't think i'm going to use them um it's a like haunt it's called a haunted kit but it's got like directions so like if you're doing halloween scavenger hunt 
Um, I'm not really sure why I bought these, but I saw them and I wanted them for some reason. But I'm really not going to use them, so I'll probably end up putting those up on the eBay shop if you're interested. Uh, what else do we have? Is there anything else from Wilco in here? I don't think so. I think that's it for the little Wilco section. Um, so I will go on to... Let's go on to the Sainsbury section, because I'm actually really excited about the stuff that I managed to get from Sainsbury's this year. Um, so I actually managed to get my hands on one of the Nightmare Before Christmas pumpkin stacks. This was 20 quid, which if you guys know me, you'll know that, like, that is kind of, like, the highest end of my price range when I'm buying Halloween stuff. But I love it. I just really like it. They had one that was just Jack Skellington in a stack. I really like, I love, you guys know that my favourite part of Halloween is pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, whatever you want to call them. That is my favourite part of Halloween. Um, but I, so I wanted to have one with a bit of everything in it. Um, so yeah, and then they're powered by like the little watch batteries. So yeah, and then I also got one of Sainsbury's, like Sainsbury's own um pumpkins just because i love that face it's like a spooky little like f he's got his fangs and everything i think he's really cool and these ones were seven pound each um and they are actually powered by double a batteries which i love because those little watch batteries like a lot pretty much all of like the power man stuff and a lot of other halloween light up decorations are all powered by these little watch batteries so i was actually really happy that this was powered by like normal double a batteries um and then also in season three i've got some orange cobwebs see last year we had a big bush outside in our garden we've now got rid of it so i'm not 100 percent sure where i'm going to put these i didn't really think of that when i bought them but it was a pound in season three for the orange cobwebs so i thought i'll find somewhere to put them we'll give them a go and then for my little desk area um i've got this little reed diffuser so it's actually got a mistake on the packet pumpkin reef diffuser but it's a little white pumpkin i don't know what scent it's supposed to be it actually doesn't say but um but yeah i just thought that'd be a really cute little sort of sort of basic halloween item the last piece i got from sainsbury's was this little bat skeleton i love him um his feet are kind of like little little hooks so you can hang him upside down his head moves around and one thing that i love with the sainsbury's halloween stuff is their mouths open and i don't know why i love that but i just think that's really cute um so so yeah it's a little plastic bat uh and then on to morrison's so morrison's actually did really well this year like i was really impressed with what morrison's had i didn't buy a lot from morrison's but i will just say that like you know i am happy with what they had uh so i got this which i saw see look there's an advert um i got this which i saw on one of the facebook groups so it's a little wooden sign that says i put a spell on you and it's a little witch flying on a broomstick can i skip that advert yes we can guys we're not doing very well today are we oh we'll go with that um so yeah that one and i think that was only about three pounds and i'm really glad i got it when i did because um when i went back yesterday they didn't have any there's not even any space for them so i think they must have sold out of them so i'm really happy i got that and then i was i did throw a party but sadly uh everybody kind of just didn't turn up uh through it so like my two best friends obviously turn up but they're always here anyway so we just decided to go out in town instead um but i did buy this spooky twister game from morrison's to play but i'm thinking i might take this to work because i work in a restaurant and we have a little games corner for the children so i might put this one over in the kids corner um and then i have got oh yeah i bought this halloween banner Again, though, it's made of paper, and I don't like that with, like, the Halloween banners and bun things, because I like to decorate outside. I don't really tend to do a lot of decorating inside, um, and so when everything's made of paper, it just makes my life more difficult, because, obviously, when we get our rainstorms, which are inevitable, they're going to get ruined, um, and then it's just going to be a whole mess for me to clean up, so... So yeah, I have been hunting for them. Um, and then I got these reflective snap bands. Not really sure why. Something about them just made me want them. Um, again, they were something that I was thinking of using at my party. 
as I was going to do like some games where you could like win things. So I was thinking you could win these and some other little bits and pieces. But like I said, that didn't work out. Uh, so I'm thinking of just like maybe taping these to like my back, the back window of my car or something. I think it'd be quite cool for Halloween because like we've got trick or treat, we've got pumpkins and we've got spiders. So I think that would be really cool. Um, I have a Peugeot 107 2006 uh, car. So if you know, then you know that the back of the car doesn't really have a lot of light on it. Especially when I'm driving in the dark, I quite often get drivers that will flash me because they think that my back lights aren't on. They are on, but I only have, like, I think, I don't even know if I have a, um, like a, uh, what's the word, like a constant light on the back. I'm pretty sure it's a, just a brake light and then maybe a little little light on the back but yeah so i was thinking because of that i'm going to get um i'm going to stick these onto the back window also guys don't worry my dad is an mot tester he's been a mechanic for his entire life i promise you my car is legal i'm just not very car savvy so you know i'm a female that's that's my excuse <laughs> i'm a female i'm the daughter of a mechanic i don't need to be car savvy but yeah so um i think that is everything from morrison's like i said it didn't go too crazy wait nope i lied i lied guys that is not the last thing from morrison's i also got this dinosaur skeleton i think he's really cute and again his little mouth moves i love it it's really cute so he sits on our um one of our shelves in our living room right now i think he's really cute i just love the little skeleton animals i think they're really cute for halloween uh, and then we will move on to just a few bits this time from Poundland. So I got some string lights. They are like the autumn leaf lights. But um, but they've... Where was I going with that? Yeah, they're autumn leaf lights. So they're autumn leaves on a string of fairy lights. Don't know why I had to make that so um, difficult for myself. And then I got a door cover. It's a little stack of pumpkins. As I said, pumpkins are my favourite part of Halloween. So when I saw this door cover, I just had to have it. Um, I'm not sure whether I might like put this in one of the windows or whether I'm going to use it as a door cover. I really don't know, but yeah. And then also from Poundland, I got these string lights. 8 meter indoor orange LED battery powered string lights. So I wanted these to go in the windows because from Timo, I bought some orange and purple lights that are on the downstairs windows and there's one set in our kitchen on the shelves where we have all of our glasses and everything um and then up in the top windows i've got the eek sign that i got from sainsbury's last year um on one of the top windows so that kind of lights outside but then on the other side i have got some poundland lights from like five maybe longer years ago um and they don't light it up very well so i thought i would try you know something like these to light it up with uh and then i also got these window silhouettes but they are way too big for my windows they do not fit in my windows no matter how hard i try so i'm not sure these might end up going up on the ebay shop um as always the ebay shop link is in my in my bio in the description guys i'm not with it today okay it's my day off my brain is just having a complete day off today uh but yeah so these are huge um i will have to find out the measurements of them for wh when i list them on the shop if i list them um but yeah so it doesn't say on the packaging either which is really annoying uh but yeah they're too big so my windows have like the frame and then the split in the middle to open the windows with so that bar in the middle like goes through the through the design so i probably would end up using those all right then guys that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching i'm really sorry for like just the rubbish quality of this video but i just really wanted to show you guys this stuff so that today while i'm off work i can get on with some of the decorating and we can get some stuff you know filmed some other stuff filmed for the channel and i can get some stuff done for the instagram page all that kind of stuff so like i said instagram ebay all that good stuff is in the description if you want to take a little look uh yeah any questions please do ask me down below i love hearing from you guys what did you think of my little haul today is there any bargains that you've managed to find this halloween like have you got a favorite item that you found to be honest i think currently my favorite item that i have found this year 
is probably my um plastic pumpkins from sainsbury's um i think these are really really cool i won't be putting this one outside because i'm scared it might get stolen in my area uh but i might end up sitting it in a window or something so it's still on display uh but yeah if you want to see where i end up putting all this stuff while i'm decorating make sure you keep an eye on the instagram page and on my youtube channel because i'm going to start doing some youtube shorts i think they're called um of all the different decorating bits and pieces i want to do some spooky book videos i want to do some halloween diy videos so do not worry guys trust me this is like the low level video where i look gross and everything's kind of last minute and it's going to go up from here okay so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you're having a great awesome and you are also preparing for halloween and yeah i will see you guys in my next video Bye.